group by with having. We've seen how we can filter data when using group by to exclude those from functions and the grouping. We had our query that shows duplicate first names and last names here. What if we just want to see rows that have a duplicate or where the count is more than one? Let's try adding in a WHERE clause to filter out that data. Now, let's run this query. We get an error here. It says an aggregate may not appear in the WHERE clause. So why do we get this error? It's because of how the WHERE clause works and how the SELECT statement is processed. The WHERE clause looks at data before the grouping is applied. It filters out data before the grouping and the count is calculated. It's also because the group by is processed after the WHERE clause, meaning that the WHERE clause has no idea of the result of the count function. So how do we filter out our data then if we can't use the count function inside the WHERE clause? We use a clause called having. The having clause is very similar and it allows you to filter data after the grouping has been applied. We add the having clause after the group by clause. We type in having count is greater than one. Now we can run the query. This will show us the results that we want. We have a single record that shows because we have a first name and a last name of John Smith with a count of two. This is an important point to remember. The difference between the WHERE clause and the HAVING clause. The WHERE clause goes before the grouping and the HAVING clause goes after. It may not be something that you use very often, but it's good to know if you want to further filter your results.